Yo, 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 what's going on out there, Fight World? It's your boy Monty back with another one, fam. And this one here is on two big dogs in this fight game. We have Deontay, the Bronze Bomber Wilder, the former WBC Heavyweight World Champ. We all know Wilder reigned for five years, got the most title defensive with Muhammad Ali, and you know Wilder is still a big dog. Then we have Anthony Joshua, the former two-time unified Heavyweight World Champion. He is still a big name in this game. Still one of the biggest stars over in British, and now they're becoming big stars in Saudi Arabia. Now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls all over the world, we all know Anthony Joshua just handled his business, right? Knocking out Otto Wilding um, in impressive fashion, if you ask me. Stopped him on the, on the, on the stool. And, uh, you know, he did his job to make the Joshua and Wilder fight happen. Sadly, Wilder lost to Joseph Parker, you know, in a decision round, and it kind of messed up the fight. But the fight can still take place. You understand? The fight can still take place because Anthony Joshua say he still want the fight, and the fans still kind of want the fight. You dig what I'm saying? Now, it's rumored that Joshua and Wilder, you know, had a little confrontation um, in the back after everything happened. You feel me? And, uh, you know, that can still spark controversy for this fight to take place. Now, we all know we've been wanting Wilder and Joshua for some time. Um, when Deontay Wilder was on top, Anthony Joshua was on top, it was the biggest fight in boxing. You understand? It was the biggest fight in boxing at one point, once upon a time. But it died out. You know, it died out when Wilder started taking on Tyson Fury. Then he started losing to Tyson Fury. Anthony Joshua took his losses. You know, he lost to Andy Ruiz. You know, then he started falling off a little bit, losing to Usyk and things like that. And, you know, the fans, you know, they don't stick around for too much long when it's a big fight and they get passed away. But nonetheless, Deontay Wilder was in position, you know, to face Anthony Joshua next in March. All he had to do was beat Joseph Parker. Um, he went out there, lost the fight to Joseph Parker. Um, Joseph Parker clearly won, unanimous decision. Um, Wilder should have been pressing forward trying to knock him out, but instead he tried to box. And that just wasn't the right game plan for Deontay Wilder versus somebody like Joseph Parker. It really wasn't the right game plan. Um, Anthony Joshua went out there against Otto Wilding. He pushed the action, um, took it to Wilding, and like I said, stopped him on the stool. Did what he was supposed to do. And uh, Anthony Joshua afterwards, I can respect because, like you said, everybody else focusing on me fighting Big Baby, me fighting Deontay Wilder, me fighting Fury, me fighting, me fighting everybody else. But all I focus on was the man that was in front of me in Otto Wilder because I knew if I don't beat this man, it's nothing. You understand? And I respect that from, from Anthony Joshua, bro, because every fighter should have been thinking like that. Every fighter. You know what I mean? And now that Joshua went out there and handled his business, he said, listen, I, I can bash Deontay Wilder. I can talk all shit about him, but I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show class. You know what I mean? And he showed class. You feel me? But now it comes down to him and, and what he want next because he's in the driver's seat. You feel me? He's in the driver's seat. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to come down to Saudi Arabia. You know what I mean? Do they still want to see the fight? Do they still think the fight is big enough? With Wilder losing to, to Joseph Parker. And Wilder lost to Joseph Parker, but it's not like he got his ass beat or things of that nature. You understand? It's not like that. Oh, man, Joseph Parker went out there and just... Dropped Deontay Wilder, knocked him out, things like that. No, Wilder tried to box with the boxer, and that just didn't go well. You know what I mean? Um, at the end, Wilder tired him out. He could have, if he'd have pushed from the ninth to, if he'd have did what he did in the 12th and 11th from the ninth on, he could have got Joseph Park up out there, if you ask me. You know what I'm saying? But he went out there with the wrong game plan, and Malik Scott, you know, you got you got to charge it to Malik Scott. You know, he's trying to be the fucking, the trainer, and, he went out there with the wrong game plan, bro, and that just wasn't it. But now, you know, with, with everything being over, when we knew AJ already fought Parker, nobody want to see that again, right? People still probably want Wilder and AJ. I still want it. Let me say that. I still want to see Deontay Wilder versus um, Anthony Joshua. It ain't got the same hype on it as before. You know what I'm saying? Both of them up there in age. Both of them took their losses. Um, you know, um, people look at Wilder and say, well, you know, all he got is a puncher's chance, and what he did against Parker, they don't want to see him no more. Like, all that word shit. But 
I feel like if you put them boys on the stage with each other, let them talk it up, they can talk it up. You know what I'm saying? They can talk it up. You feel me? And, and, and at least we can say we got it at the end of the day. At least we can say, yeah, man, look, AJ and Wilder, it, it was too late down the line, but they shared the ring with one another. And let's see how it play out. You know what I mean? Let's see how it play out. They not going to charge us an arm and a leg for it. You feel me? But let's see how it play out. I still want to see the fight. How about y'all? You know what I mean? How about y'all? Um, if you're a boxing fan, you understand, um, you know, the significance of the fight. And um, I still respect it, bro. I do. I still respect the fight. Because like I said, Wilder, the Joseph Parker fight, it didn't, it didn't take the, the, the little drive from it, if you ask me. Of course, um, it would have been better if Wilder would have won because you could have put both of them in the ring after that, let them talk their little shit. And, and, you know, start building the fight right now up to March. But at the same time, like I said, if Anthony Joshua want it, um, if Deontay Wilder want it, if Saudi Arabia want it, then let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. You know? Um, I'm the type, I'm like this, man. I don't praise the O. And um, even though somebody took a loss, don't mean it still ain't a good fight. You against somebody else. You know what I'm saying? Um, like I said, all you got to do is get these dudes into it. Let them talk their shit because controversy sells. Controversy sales. That's all you need. Wilder and Joshua bumping into each other, um, arguing with one another, um, you know, getting their shit off. Of course, Joshua go have the edge because, like I said, Wilder just took a loss to Joseph Parker. Uh, AJ knocked out Joseph Parker, if I'm not mistaken. And, you know, so it, it, it's going to be what it's going to be. But styles make fights. You know what I mean? Styles make fights. And I still think Deontay Wilder got that right hand that can lay Anthony Joshua's ass out. And Anthony Joshua most definitely got a hand that can lay Deontay Wilder ass out. You feel me? And it's going to be even tougher for Wilder now with him being older. You understand? And, and with Joshua coming along, because Joshua on a, on a win streak, he's feeling good. If I'm not mistaken, he got three wins this year. So Joshua's on a win streak, he's feeling good, right? Um, you got to get an edge to Anthony Joshua in this fight. Like, if you, if you make Deontay Wilder versus Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua should be the favorite. I don't care what nobody say. I don't care how nobody feel about it. Anthony Joshua should be the favorite. You feel me? Um, people going to look at Wilder as the old man, you know, which he is. And they going to feel like, well, Anthony Joshua is getting Wilder at the right time. If he'd have fought him when he was younger, Wilder would have smoked his ass. He know that. Everybody know it, man. Eddie Hearn, all of them know it. That's why they did this. That's why they did that. Well, look, this can be Wilder's last fight, my boys. Wilder's think about retirement. Um, what better way of going out against um, the big dog of the division? or one of the big dogs in the division, and that's Anthony Joshua, bro. Because I really do feel like Wilder was going to retire um, after the Anthony Joshua fight anyway. You know, he said he contemplating it. He's a happy fighter, and if this is the last fight of his career, then so be it. I don't want it to be the last fight of his career. I don't want him his last fucking loss to be a Joseph Parker, just like I didn't want his last loss to be a Tyson Fury. If his last loss is Anthony Joshua, I'm okay with that. If Deontay Wilder's last loss is Anthony Joshua, I'm okay with that. And if his last win is Anthony Joshua, that's a big time fucking plus, baby. That's a big time plus. You did. So if I was Wilder and, and his team, I'd be figuring out a way to get in that ring with Joshua in March. You know, Joshua said he signed a contract. He still want the fight. Deontay Wilder, you should want this fight, bro. You should want this fight. You know, losing to a Hall of Fame fighter is A-OK. -okay. Your last fight being a Hall of Fame fighter is A-OK -okay in my opinion. You know what I mean? I don't want your last loss to be no fucking Joseph Parker. That's just me, myself. And I feel like he could have knocked Joseph Parker the fuck out. That's just Monty Brown. I don't care how nobody feel about it. All he had to do was push. He got Joseph Parker tired. He, um, he had the right stamina to go in there and do what he had to do. He had the right weight on. And I just feel like he would have knocked Joseph Parker out. I feel like he can still knock out Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? But it's just going to be up to him to let his hands go. You know, we know he's out the ring for a while. And uh, let's just see what he can do. And the second training camp getting ready for Joshua, bro. But I do think he should be looking at another trainer than Malik Scott. You know what I mean? That's just me. He need to be looking at another trainer besides Malik Scott because Malik Scott, um, nah, that shit that he had Wilder doing, I didn't agree with it at all. And I agree with everything that Andre Durrell said about Wilder in that fight. You feel me? So right now, bro, what Wilder need to do is look for another trainer 
and um, have his team. Not saying I kick Malik Scott away. Keep him in, on the team. But look for another trainer and have your team doing the best they can do to make the Anthony Joshua fight happen, bro. Because it's still a good fight for us, a heavyweight matchup. Because it ain't that many big heavyweights out there in the first place. But it's still a hell of a fight that people want to see. And like I say, once they get that buzz going and talking that shit, people go forget about Wilder losing. People go forget about AJ winning. And they go want to see what happened in their fight. You know what I'm saying? So, shouts out to Saudi Arabia for making these things happen. Just don't like the early fights and, and they fight late as fuck over in Saudi Arabia. So, they need to figure something out with that shit. But this fight is still a go. It still got a little buzz around it. And they need to make it happen before these dudes retire. That's how I feel about it. Shouts out to Deontay Wilder. Pick yourself back up. Like you say, you're not down. I can respect that you're holding your head high after that loss, but you still got an opportunity of a lifetime. Shouts out to Anthony Joshua for picking himself up, getting back in the win column. You know, and being a real one. Because like you said, he could have shitted on Wilder, but he didn't. And um, he said he signed a contract. So let's see if they still make it happen. Um, straight like that. Shouts out to Saudi Arabia once again. And I'm on to the next.